Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Wiltoinger and ladies and gents, I am super duper stoked to go on ahead and share with you guys the second character or custom admit, character that I was able to one. design for LEGO DC Super Villain. So again, I obviously want to thank I guess a couple of different parties. Well, first of all, I want to obviously thank the lovely, lovely folks over at WB or Warner Brothers who provided me early access to the game and furthermore, of course, allowed me to go on ahead and create an in-game character, which is super duper cool. But in addition to all of that, I want to thank you guys because without you guys watching, I obviously would have not even had the opportunity to do any of this. So with that in mind, ladies and gents, I hope that you enjoy the second design that I was able to put together. Now, I, I think tentatively titled this character as Lizard Girl, just because that was kind of the design that I was going for and kind of turned out pretty cool. I was very, very pleasantly surprised by the accessories for this particular character just because I kept messing with the accessories and just trying to see what I could accomplish. You can see I was messing about even at the beginning there you'll see with the head pieces and I recolored even the head pieces to look like traditional Lego pieces so you can definitely see that. The accessories make such a big difference on the designs and I was really trying to test out whether or not I could stack let's say a haircut with an accessory and some of them definitely functioned well together some not so much but it was definitely really, really cool to see a very different approach this time around than the first character that I designed, which by the way, if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out, of course. That was the initial character that I managed to design. I went ahead and went and designed a female character this time because I felt like it'd be cool to, you know, have one male character, one female character, and try to go on ahead and try my hand at making two decent looking characters in both scenarios. Now, I know what you're going to say. How the heck could you possibly design a character called Lizard Girl and then not give her proper green color for like the tail and things like that? But I just felt like it looks really cool the way that it, she turned out. And she almost reminds me a little bit of the Sapphire Lanterns. So that was kind of a little bit of the vibe that I was going for. And I think that the character looks pretty cool overall now of course like always guys i want to hear your opinions and your thoughts on this design down in the comment section below i hope that you guys enjoy it i had an absolute blast putting this one together as well and i hope you enjoy the showcase of the customizer in more detail here today for lego dc super villains on the blitzwinger channel
Ha, ha, ha. 